Thank you for introducing me. Uh, this time I will uh, show you some uh, um, not example of the uh, using the uh, voice user interface and chat bot like uh, user interface uh, that will be uh, work with Moodle, working with Moodle. Uh, so, uh, uh, co author is the uh, uh, Thomas Monar uh, from Hungary. And uh, nowadays, maybe many of you are using the uh, smart speakers in your uh, daily life, right? Uh, the smart speakers are very common to many people. And uh, not only the, uh, uh, use, using the, uh, some basic features like uh, 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 tell me the time or uh, for weather forecast or uh, asking simple, simple questions, but also uh, uh, people are using the uh, uh, many uh, services, online systems, via the, uh, the uh, smart speaker, uh, voice user interface. And not only with uh, voice user interface, a chatbot user interface is kind of, um, it can be uh, called the a text based text version of voice user interface or uh, is also useful uh, maybe chatbot interface is uh, older uh, but the uh, uh, anyway uh, the these two are uh, kind of very not um, to, uh, similar uh, type of a user interface and in our case uh, this time uh, in the project, uh, dialogue flow and the micro uh, were used for implementing voice and chatbot user interface with model. And actually, uh, to in the previous uh, model mood, uh, three years ago, I uh, also uh, did some uh, presentation. So I will uh, just uh, uh, want to quick, quickly review my presentation at the time. It's still online. Uh, where's the uh, mouse? Ah, yeah, okay. Ah, different display. I will, yeah. Uh, this is the uh, uh, the uh, presentation the at the uh, 2019 uh, Moodle mode presentation, and uh, uh, in that presentation I uh, present my uh, uh, the research of our research group. Uh, that is basically the uh, safety education uh, for three fields, the child injury in prevention and environmental safety engineering, uh, like in the chemical laboratory uh, and uh, emergency nursing. Uh, for these three fields, I, uh, we uh, did some uh, how can I say, uh, online learning uh, by using Moodle and uh, plus a voice user interface or Moodle analytics or uh, uh, some using some engine to estimate learners' uh, mental state. Yeah, uh, so... Uh, that is the uh, kind of um, real purposes uh, for the uh, developing these uh, kind of uh, um, new interfaces with model. Yeah. 
That is the review of my uh, presentation three years ago. And back to the presentation today. And uh, dialogue flow is the uh, platform for uh, the natural language understanding uh, used to design and integrate the conversational user interface. It's like a, a kind of typically smart speaker user interface. Uh, so using this platform, uh, it is uh, uh, basically the Google uh, related uh, company, uh, but also the uh, it supports not only the Google uh, uh, services, but also the many, many uh, other services like um, Amazon Alexa or uh, Telegram or Slack or many uh, services. And uh, users are able to access uh, Moodle activities and resources through, through the popular voice and chat you are uh, supported by the, this platform. Uh, this is the example, one example of the, uh, uh, the uh, chatbot user interface with Moodle calendar. Uh, so this is the usual uh, Moodle calendar. And uh, it's, it's very, it, the color is not nice, but the, it, the, it's display the uh, 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 data in the calendar. Uh, the, if user the, uh, some, ask some uh, keyword, uh, the chatbot will answer the uh, uh, information in uh, the calendar on Moodle. It's, uh, it's on, on the web, just a simple, usual, uh, ordinary web. And this example is the glossary example. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, the purpose is very, how can I say, spe specific. Like uh, uh, to, for nurses, nurse, nurses uh, to perform a uh, some quick research, uh, quick searching, quick search of related information about the, uh, the medical work uh, on the, some uh, smartphones or a uh, tablet like this. Uh, it's, it's Moodle and the, uh, uh, the chatbot user interface is embedded in the uh, uh, cost of page. Uh, we, I had some demo site, but the, maybe the, uh, uh, if we have uh, time to spare, I will show you some demonstration. And, uh, uh, but the, uh, uh, there's some uh, mm, there's a kind of kind of problem <coughs> uh, for the such. What do you call commercial services like a uh, dial flow or something because yes, uh, to the user's utterances, uh, what they say or what they type uh, need to be sent to the uh, sent and processed uh, on the proprietary services of each voice user interface company uh, that is natural or it's essential. But some people consider such dependency uh, programmatic. Uh, that is kind of, uh, I got some uh, aspect actually on the, uh, uh, the previous Moodle Moot in uh, uh, 2019. Uh, uh, some uh, participants uh, asked me question about this uh, kind of, uh, I can say, uh, uh, thought, and I got some, uh, uh, and he also uh, introduced me this uh, microservice that is the uh, open source 
basically open source service of the uh, uh, voice uh, user interface or voice assistant service. It is the uh, to open source uh, voice user interface and the, with that uh, we can build an ecosystem where uh, voice user interfaces are available without sending users utterance data to proprietary services. And Mycroft is the kind of um, not so uh, a common service, but the, it has uh, some several upsides. Uh, you can, I can say, see this website for, of Mycroft uh, to see the details of the, this service. And uh, we have developed some uh, uh, user interface with this uh, Mycroft uh, service by using the Mycroft service. And this is the example of the uh, Moodle quiz uh, user interface with Mycroft. So maybe this time I would like to do some demonstration here. Basically, it is running on the uh, Linux. So if you uh, want to run the, the service uh, on Windows or, or Mac, maybe you need some uh, uh, virtual machine to uh, to use that, in, use that interface. Uh, first of all, we have to invoke the uh, background services. And uh, also a uh, very classical. Uh, ah, no, no. Interface like command line, and it will be building up in short time. Maybe it heavily depends on the uh, network connection. So uh, uh, please pray for the successful demonstration. Uh, looks like okay. Hey, Michael. Hey, Mycroft. What time is it? Hey, Mycroft. Uh, it's sometimes unstable. Hey, Mycroft. Hey, Mycroft. What time is it? 2.42. Ah, yeah, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> so, in that case, I will uh, directly type in the, uh, <laughs> my uh, talk. Yes. Number of 
quizzes is six. Select one from number one to number six. Number two. Question one. What is the highest mountain in Japan? Number one. Mount Makokusa. Number two. Mount Mikosa. Number three. Mount Fuji. Number three. Your answer is correct. This is the end of the quiz. <laughs> I'm not sure it's successful or not, but the, uh, it goes like this. And uh, uh, so uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, this this is the uh, uh, current session. Uh, the uh, timestamp indicates that the uh, really the information uh, <laughs> transferred to the Moodle, but the I don't know why, but I uh, it is the uh, recognized the, as the uh, uh, the third choice is selected. Uh, anyway, we need more imp improvement to, to, the <laughs> to this interface, but the, uh, that is now working, uh, gradually working. Yes. So, uh, uh, to how many minutes left? Three, Three minutes, okay. <laughs> so I do another uh, demonstration. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's on web, not the uh, voice user interface, but the uh, it is uh, chatbot user interface. But it is uh, I don't know why, but it's it's not uh, working now. Uh, I just noticed that the today it is not working now. But if uh, it is working, uh, type in some uh, keyword, and you can see the, you can uh, see the search result on this uh, screen, and also uh, another keyword is, uh, you can, uh, kind of uh, very quickly search the uh, the information uh, in the grocery uh, and the <laughs> history uh, uh, to keyword history searching histories remain here and you can uh, uh, select the the button to re uh, retype the uh, keyword like this and if uh, they have some URL. Uh, the the you can follow the link also, and the uh, some movies that can be embedded also in this interface. Yeah. So that's all uh, for my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Any questions? Chatbots, dialogue flow, open source. <laughs> Ask questions. As you saw, Mycroft came out from you know the previous move, someone asking a question, suggesting something. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for making your speech in English. <laughs> and I think it's uh, was it difficult to train the open source voice system, or does it come with a lot of training already? Uh, yeah, mm, so it needs some uh, training, but very, how can I say, short time. Uh, they will learn the, uh, how can I say, some candidate 
that should be uh, uttered, uh, talked uh, in each phase. So uh, there's, uh, there's no need to, to train many, how can I say, uh, times or much time to, to use the, the, the inter interface. Hi, I have a question. Um, do you? Um, sorry. Yeah. Um, do you have to set a sp specified um, language, or does it recognize the language the person is speaking? Yeah, yeah. Uh, to, for both uh, platforms, uh, we uh, we can uh, specify the language uh, for the uh, uh, for users. Yeah. So uh, this time, of course. I set the language locator to the EM, English. And uh, to the Microsoft is uh, now is not supporting Japanese offic officially, but the uh, uh of course, uh, supports many, many languages, like, like Google, uh, many services. Hi, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, when working with Dialogflow, have you had any problems when facing the, the platform limitations, like the maximum number of intents or so? Because we're trying to use Di Dialogflow also, and, and we're thinking how not to reach that limit somehow. So if you have any advice or something like how not to reach the, the Dialogflow limitations? Uh, 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 so what, what do you we're asking the, uh, how can I say, difficulties in the uh, Dialogflow uh, voice recognition or something? No, it's with Dialogflow. Uh, Google sets a maximum number of intents, for example, that you can send. That you ah, can... intents. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So, so uh, we're trying hard to, to not reach the number of intents. Ah, so you can have any advice or... I see. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, I it basically use the... Uh, it, uh, uh, some simple two or one or two intents, and that includes the uh, uh, any uh, uh, to, uh, to not specific keywords, but the uh, any uh, we will set the the attribute to any, so the uh, uh, dialog flow will recognize any kind of keywords, uh, like uh, uh, if we. Uh, like to search some keywords on the web, uh, the, the keyword uh, will be, uh, how can I say, uh, uh, any kind of uh, keyword. So, uh, yeah, you can set the any keyword. And the after uh, the recognized uh, word to uh, set, uh, uh, recognize the keyword uh, uh, was sent to my own system, I can select the, uh, which yeah, keyword, uh, yeah, depending on the keyword, uh, the word, I will uh, select the, uh, uh, to following the uh, procedures. Yeah. So, yeah, I, know I don't mm, to, uh, set uh, so many uh, intents in the dial flow. So. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Going once, going twice. And uh, uh, to, I just got the news that the uh, Dialogflow uh, or Google uh, will uh, discontinue the uh, kind of uh, to, uh, voice conversational uh, service in, in one year, maybe until the uh, June next year. So it's kind of shocking to me, but the, uh, it, that is a, uh, also a good example that the uh, open source type of a user interface is the, uh, how can I say, has merit that the uh, uh, sustainability for, uh, uh, of sustainability aspect is, is, uh, is kind of better yeah, than the uh, commercial services, yeah. Thank you so much. Let's give him a hand. Thank you very much.